Hello investors and future investors, welcome back to the channel. My name is Tim and on this channel, I show you how I use my portfolio in order to generate weekly revenue. For today's video, I'm going to showcase one of those option strategies that has allowed me to get continuous revenue and help me grow my portfolio. Welcome to Investment Gains. Let's jump right into it. Welcome back future investors and if you're new to the channel, welcome. So. On this channel, I show you guys how I use my portfolio in order to make weekly revenue. And the reason I do this is to show you guys that if I can do it, you can do it too. Now, option trading has worked for me and it has allowed me to grow my portfolio consistently over a long period of time. So if this sounds like something you guys are interested in, I would very much like to let you guys know. Now would be a good time to like and subscribe to the channel. Now, I know some of you guys out there are struggling with a job and you guys are trying to make either additional income or you try to leave your job in order to get consistent revenue. Well, the good news is that options can work for you. And after watching today's strategy, you might be able to make that decision for yourself. So for today's option strategy, we're going to be using the wheel option strategy in order to generate consistent revenue. Now, the wheel option strategy comprises of two other option strategies, namely the covered call strategy and also the cash secured put strategies. Now you guys know how we do it on this channel. We give you the actual walkthrough as an example so you can follow along with us. So for today's video, we're gonna be using um, Robinhood, ticker H-O-O-D. So here we are on Robinhood and we're gonna start off by doing the wheel strategy by using the cash secured put strategy, which most people suggest we should start off with. I will show you to the end of the video how you could always start off with the cover call strategy as well and still make as much gains as if you start off with the cash secured put. So we're going to go ahead to trade hood options to the bottom in order for us to open up the option chain. Now what the option chain does is that the option chain gives us enough information in order for us to make an informed decision. Okay, so here we are on the Robinhood option chain and we're going to go ahead to start off our option strategy. Now, I repeatedly say that there's only one way to learn options trading and that's to get down and dirty with options. It does not matter how many YouTube videos you look at or how many books you read, you need to practice, practice, practice. That being said, here goes. So for the cash secured put strategy, we gotta make sure we go to sell and then we're gonna go ahead and go to put. Once we get to put, we're gonna go for one week out, which is my strategy that I've developed over a long, long time. Feel free to choose any strategy that works for you. So we're gonna be going with the August 23rd strike date and that's because I already have options for the 16th just so there's no confusion. So, okay, so now we have it on sell and we have our put and we have chosen our strike date of August 23rd. Now we're gonna go ahead and choose a strike price below the current share price. Now it's highly advisable you choose the strike price below the share price in order to maximize the benefit of this strategy. So as you can see here, the share price is currently trading at 17.85. Now the whole purpose of the cash secured put is for you to try to get 100 shares of the stock at a lot less price than it's currently trading at. So for that, we're going to go with a $17 strike price. Now with the $17 strike price, you're going to see it gives me a chance of profitability of around 72%. Now for this option strategy, the chance of profitability does not make that much importance. And I'll tell you why in just a couple of seconds. Now, with the $17 strike price, I will be paid 0.41 or $41. Each option contract is multiplied by 100 shares. Now, as you can see up here, the strategy is cash secured put. And that brings us to our first part of the wheel strategy, the cash secured put. Now I'm going to go ahead and break down the cash secured put to you in a bit more detail. So in order for you to do the cash secured put, you must leave a collateral in the form of cash. So how do we determine our collateral? Well, that's quite simple. We need to take our strike price, which is $17, and then we're going to multiply that by 100 shares, and that's going to give us $1,700. So in order for us to perform this strategy, we need to have cash equivalent in our option portfolio of $1,700. Let's go ahead. We're going to hit continue. And now we're going to choose our amount of contracts, which is going to be one. Now, as you can see here, once I do this option strategy, I will be receiving $41 into my buying power. Now, here's the kicker. This is a win-win strategy because this $40 is mine to keep no matter how this trade goes. Now, I did mention that the 72% chance of profitability is not really relevant. The reason for that is the number one rule for doing a cash secured put or for that matter, using the wheel strategy is to, and remember this very, very clearly, 
always, always choose a stock that you actually want to own in your portfolio. Once that's done, then your chance of profitability does not really matter because all you're trying to do is get the stock for a cheaper price and make some premium along the way. So for those of you with a small account, this trade works out perfect for you. Now, for those of you with a larger account, it's quite simple. All you need to do is scale. So instead of going to one contract, I'm going to go to 10. So with 10 contracts, now instead of making $41, now you're going to make upwards of $400. The strategy remains sound. The only difference is the level of scale based on the amount of capital that your account has. Now, how does this trade work out? Well, come expiration date of August 23rd, if Robin Hood is trading for any price below our $17 call right here, then that works out good for us. We're going to win. The reason why we're going to win is that now we're going to be forced to lose our $1,700 that we left for collateral. However, we're going to be having 100 shares of Robin Hood stock in our portfolio at a lesser price than $1,785. So we're just going to be able to acquire 100 shares for $17 while still keeping our $41 collateral. Now, that is why it's a win. Now, the other way it's a win is that, once again, come August 23rd, if Robinhood is trading for any price above the $17 price, then, once again, we keep our premium. That's why it makes it a win-win strategy. And now, we get our $1,700 cash released back to us. What are we going to do with this $1,700 cash? Well, we could do the same trade over and over again until we get a sign and we're forced to buy 100 shares. So let's fast forward a bit. But right before we fast forward and go to the other part of the option strategy, I'd like to announce for my regular viewers, we are now doing free options training scheduled to begin on August 19th. We only have 10 spots left. Like I said earlier, it's absolutely free. All you need to do is just check out the link in the description below. So let's just pretend once again that we are assigned our shares and we now have 100 shares of Robinhood in our portfolio at $17. Well, now we need to do the other part of the wheel strategy, namely the covered call strategy. Now, with the covered call strategy, as opposed to the cash secured put strategy, we first need to make sure it says sell and call. Now, just for purposes of this video, we're just going to continue using the exact same strike date. So once again, as opposed to the cash secured put strategy with the covered call strategy, you're going to want to choose your strike price above the current share price. Once again, the current share price is around $17.85. So if I were to do this trade right now, I would be going with the $19 strike price. Now the $19 strike price is going to give me 40 cents or $40. Now, if you guys want to know why, or how I choose my strike prices. I do have detailed videos on the channel. All you need to do is just search for cash secured put or covered call strategy, and you're gonna get a detailed walkthrough like how I'm doing right now. So let's go ahead and continue. We're gonna click into our 40 cents, AKA $40 in option terms. And as you can see the, to the top, there it goes right here, covered call strategy. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna hit continue. And if you have a small account with just a couple dollars or only 100 shares of Robinhood, then we're going to go ahead and select one contract. Now, with that one contract, once again, we're going to be paid $40. So picture this. You're only able to buy 100 shares of one stock in your portfolio because you're trading for a very small portfolio. Then the wheel strategy is the perfect strategy for you. I just did show you how you could win with the cash secured put. Now I'm going to show you how you're going to win with the covered call strategy. And once again, the covered call strategy is also a win-win strategy. So let us pretend now on expiration date of August 23rd, Robinhood is trading for a price above the $19 call. Let's say it's trading for 19.5. So now that it's trading for 19.5, it has clearly short past our strike price of 19. So once again, we win. This is how we win. But most importantly, we get to keep our $40 premium. So like I said at the beginning of this video, every single option strategy I get involved in pays me a premium because I'm an income trader. Every strategy must generate me some income. So we keep our premium and then now we're forced to sell our 100 shares that we recently acquired for $17 per share. So we have to sell it now at 19.5. So now you're going to gain an additional amount of money in the form of capital 
gains. So the difference between the 19.5 and the $17, which we bought it for, is going to be $2.50. The $2.50 in option language is now going to be equal to $250. Remember, each option contract is multiplied by 100 shares. So now, if this is the case, you now get $250 and you get $40, which gives you $290 of gains only. And that is your investment gains. Now, once again, in your portfolio, you will realize that you're going to have an additional $1,950 cash because now you're forced to sell 100 shares, but now the cash is deposited into your portfolio. So what do you do? So, well, now you go ahead and you start the wheel strategy all over again. So here's a very important tidbit. Once you're going to start the wheel strategy all over again, there's no need to do the wheel strategy on the exact same stock. Sometimes, come expiration date, the stock may have climbed to a very, very high price. Always pay attention to that. And you could always get into a lesser stock that you could afford based on your portfolio size. Now, the other way this trade could go, come August 23rd once again, if Robinhood is trading for any price below our $19 strike price, then we get to keep our $40 premium and we get to do this trade again for the following week because now we still have our 100 shares in our portfolio. Once again, these strategies are known as a win-win strategy. I would highly recommend anyone new to the market to just focus on these strategies alone until you become very consistent with it. Then you could branch off into the other strategies and that is how you do the wheel option strategy. Now, once again, the strategies are the same. All you need to do is practice, practice, practice. Once you have the strategy down, then and only then are you able to scale your account based on your portfolio size. So maybe you have a bit more money in your portfolio. So instead of doing one, you could probably do five. And what that's going to do is that's going to increase your amount of credit you receive on a weekly or monthly basis, whatever strike date you choose. So in order for you guys to become part of the weekly income team, remember, like and subscribe to the channel and also hit the notification bell to get an alert when I post a video. But most importantly, if there's someone out there you think can benefit from this content, feel free to share it with them. Thanks for watching. And remember, if you guys want to develop your skills with option trading, we are now doing a free options training and there's only 10 spots left. That option training is going to begin on August 19th and it's going to last for exactly a week. And we're going to be doing these strategies in detail with everyone's portfolio. And it's going to be a great way for us to interact with like-minded individuals as we grow our portfolios together. Now, before you leave, to continue being part of the weekly income team, check out any one of these two videos right here. Until our next video, keep pushing your investments.